A recent interview with Empire director Neil Blomkamp revealed that he recently made a story change to his upcoming Aliens film that Ridley Scott felt was bumping up against Prometheus 2, which is now in development. John, do you buy or sell Blomkamp making changes to his movie to accommodate Prometheus 2? I sell this all the way around. Number one, I'm, I'm after seeing Chappie, my enthusiasm for Neil Blum doing a, an Aliens film has kind of taken a bit of a dip, but still, still looking forward to it, but not nearly as excited as I was. Um, but this is the problem you have when you have films in a shared universe, right? Now, Neil has to take his concept that clearly he liked because he was going to make a movie and he's got to change it because it doesn't fit with what another film is doing. Um, you got to do that sometimes. And who knows? It may work out for the best. It may work out to be a great move. We don't know. All I've got to work on is the information in front of me. And based on the information from me, I don't like it. So I'm going to sell it. Christian? I'll buy it for pretty much the same reasons because I, I actually like the idea that we're doing a uh, we're following the canon of alien aliens and because hopefully Prometheus we know all know the big questions when Prometheus came out was it a prequel was it not we don't know we think that the second one Prometheus two is gearing up to alien so if we get Prometheus, Prometheus 2, Alien, Aliens, and then Neil Blomkamp's version where you had to do some tweaks to fit into the whole mythology. Yes, I could be excited about that. That could work for me. Um, I'm with you. I'm less excited about Blomkamp doing it since Chappie, but I'm also excited because now he goes away from just his scripts and his movies to try to do something else because the guy is a very talented director. Visually, he's Incredible. He's got a great eye. Yes. Great so eye. I want to see what he does with someone else's story, mm -hmm. someone else's script. And if he's got to fit and maybe now he's got to do some more tweaks to where he has to follow the mythology because, it, listen, Ridley Scott, the guy who really who brought this thing to life, wants to tweak it this way and you have to follow that. I'm okay with it. You know, I might I might have agreed with you too had I liked Prometheus, but I did, so that probably cast yeah, a wet blanket on that. too. Shinap, what about you? I'm gonna buy it because I did like Prometheus. For all its flaws, I really did enjoy the film. And just seeing that image that was put together where you see the actual original alien with images of the engineer's head and some of the stuff from Prometheus, I could visually see how it'll tie mm. together. And it's kind of exciting to just to imagine what Bloom Camp will do. I think he's an incredibly talented director. I've yet to see Chappie. I know everybody's uh, you know cracking on it and stuff, but I really, really loved District 9. And I really liked Elysium, so I'm not gonna like throw in the towel on the dude. And that he came up with the idea on his own, just like, look, I want to make an Alien Three and bring back Michael Bain and Ripley, which is what all of us want. So that he's such a nerd and a sweaty, like you know, I want to do like. That's why I was like, oh my god, those concept drawings are amazing. I think Fox was maybe like, we're not sure, but when the internet exploded with like, yeah, that's awesome, then they signed the deal. You know what I mean? Like, or maybe they did it earlier. I don't really know how that all went about, but whatever it happened to make it happen, I'm glad. So I, I'm looking forward to it. And if he has to, you know, move his script, script around a little bit to adjust for whatever Prometheus 2 or Paradise or whatever it's going to be called, hopefully it all makes sense and merges and brings Alien, the Alien franchise back to something that's enjoyable, so. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.